Hello everyone, this is Ed Easy Airbrush and this is today's uh, first lesson. Let's see how it goes. So we're going to need a white piece of paper, a number two pencil, and if you have a tablet that will save you tons of paper. Unfortunately, I don't have a tablet, so yeah. Okay, so we're going to be practicing circle. Circles. So if you can do circles, you, uh, this will help you have way, way better, more hand coordination. You know what I mean? Um, I, when I first started, uh, this is what I did. You know, I couldn't draw nothing. I was always chicken scratching everything. And I was like, there's no way that I'm going to do a shirt scr chicken scratching. Now, I'm not saying there's nothing, there's something wrong with it. What, what, um, that's, that's what demanded from me learning how to, uh, do every t-shirts. I had to learn how to do consistent lines and quick and easy. Now, I still, I still need work. You know, there's some, this is something that you're always going to have to, like, practice. And the more you practice, the better you're going to get. So, um, you need to do small circles, big circles, or medium circles, and then big large circles. Well, I try not to uh, draw with just my fingers, even though sometimes you need to, or you, you can, or the wrist. I try to use my whole elbow, my whole arm, to move. And this, the reason why this, it, it helps you, when you're doing shirts, you're not going to be leaning on the board and drawing. You're going to use your whole arm in one motion. See that? You want to do clockwise circles and counterclockwise. You also want to do slow circles. Make sure you have a, a, a pistol sharpener. Or if you want a pen, a pen will last you a lot longer. You don't have to get up and sharpen it every now and then. But yeah. So, like I say, circles, they, they, they help you so much. They help you to go from A to B in one motion. Notice that I'm pulling here and pushing here. See that? Pushing and pulling. Very different. Now you're going to be better at, at pulling, I believe. Well, that I'm better at pulling. You could be better at pushing. I don't know. But I believe pulling is a lot easier. Sometimes I have to adjust my whole arm to try to pull. You know, I try not to shift my paper or move it around because when I'm doing a shirt, you can't do that. You know, you have to stand up straight and and draw. Now, one of the things that I had to learn right away is to learn how to do a heart. I think it's like the number one. Now I'm doing it lightly because I'm drawing it lightly because um, I'm still doing adjustments. See that? I don't want to just like commit to a line and then not coming out right. Now you don't you don't want, want to. Um, when you practice circles, you don't want to make the lines darken because you're using the paper and the, the um, how do you say, you're using the friction of the, of the pencil and paper to stabil stabilize, stabilize, is that how you say it? Your, your line. So when you're light, it's a, a lot more difficult. But you will learn how to stabilize your your pencil when it becomes light. Your your brain will start adjusting to subtleties and stuff like that. 
I don't know if it makes sense. I hope it, hopefully it does. So yeah. Yeah, let's do, let's do, let's do another one. Save that. I'm gonna do another heart. And um, when you're when you're doing a, a shirt, you're not really um, using the you're kind of using the board, but you don't want to use too much pressure on you don't want to put too, lay too much pressure on the on the board because it'll be shaking and wobbling. I mean, it helps to have a real good easel, you know. But lightly, lightly because you don't want it to show if you do go outside the line and stuff like that. Hopefully you guys are still sticking around. If you are, I really appreciate it. See that pushing the line. Pulling the line. Now some might say, hey Ed, how come you don't do tattoos? Oh, come on. Battery di battery is low, still running. Yes, we're still in the game. Okay, so better hurry up before my phone dies. So yeah. yeah, let me let me let me show you guys an example of why you need to know how to do circles. Now, if you guys really, really, really want to be uh, good at this, then I suggest you guys get yourself a light box and learn how to trace. Tracing will help you with a lot, with, with designs. You'll start just picking it up naturally. Hopefully you guys can see my light is dead, my phone died, or it's dying, my bad. But hopefully you guys can still see what I'm drawing here. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. Now I'm no expert guys, this is what, what's been working for me, you know, I, I've, I've never been to school before, you know, so oh, please don't hold it against me, I'm sure there's better ways to do this.
see that? See, instinctively I want to move the, the paper, but I know I have to... I went back. So I, so that's when you mess up, you can fix your er errors. Remember, this is all hand painted or hand drawn, so mm, it's okay if you mess up. You're not a machine. Though there's some good artists out there that are really, really good. But I, I, I believe me, they practice or they practice a lot. And just because I think I practice a lot, trust me, I, I haven't practiced as much as they have. about it guys so hopefully you guys like it Ho hopefully you guys like the lessons you know circles and more circles okay guys thank you for viewing I appreciate it and take care